Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how can we actually build the back end and we will look into that on how to do it and which kind of um, web technology are we going to use and let now have a look on this website. So um, as you can see, this is the result from the Stack Overflow Developer Survey in 2000s or as well as the 2018 Programming Technology Comparisons. So as you can see on these uh, two charts right here, you can see that Node.js is actually uh, one of the most popular one uh, in 2018 as well as in 2019. And you can see that um, it says Stack Overflow released the result of their annual um, developer survey in 2019 and this year you can see that all nearly um, 90 case developer took 20 minutes of the world like just developer survey and um, you can see that this is one of the results and there's many more uh, when I scroll down here says like JavaScript and everything's here so now let's have a look into this so this is actually the one coming from the stack overflow itself and you can see that um, the most popular um, technologies is the one that you just seen on the previous website. It says uh, Node.js with uh, the 49.9% and followed by uh, .NET, .NET Core, etc. So this is the first year that uh, we asked our, uh, the many developers uh, of the technology in this category and you can see that uh, Node.js is the most um, commonly used and more developers say that uh, they use .NET, then um, .NET.Core and this is the learning framework that uh, has many more popular than deep learning framework um, as uh, you can see here. So um, Node.js is one of the more popular for the um, technology that a developer mostly use and there's a lot more you can come to this website and have a look at uh, this uh, URL here to see the result for 2019. So next one here is the uh, comparisons uh, between the three technology, uh, Django, Node.js uh, and Rails. And you can see that for the uh, Django, um, there's like 5.3K for the uh, followers. Um, while for the Node.js, you can see that 22.7K. Um, last but not least, the Rails for 5.2K. So uh, it doesn't matter about like the number of the followers, but what you can see here is, is the vote, how people voted. So Node.js um, got the most voted, uh, followed by Rails, and these are the stacks. So you can see um, which one is already the, the most popular one already. All right, so um, why developer choose to use uh, Django and Node.js and also Rails? Because for the Django, it uh, rapid development, uh, open source, and it's great community, easy to learn. While for the Node.js, got like npm. For npm, it's just like a small plugin that you can install and then easy to build and save you a lot of time. And it's uh, JavaScript based. Uh, also great libraries, also with the high performance and more. For the Rails, uh, they got like rapid development, uh, great gems. So gems is quite similar to NMP that you can actually install and then um, you don't need to build it from scratch. You can just use the existing uh, says like plugin stuff and also great community um, covers over the configurations and more. And there's a list of this. Uh, you can come to this website and see. So uh, for the Django, the big company like uh, Instagram, uh, Coursera, Udemy, they're using Django. And for the um, Node.js, you can see that uh, Uber technology, they're using this, Netflix, uh, Medium, Twitter, uh, Reddit. While for the um, Rails, uh, Airbnb, Twitter, and Shopify, uh, they're using this technology. So the tool that integrated with with all of this uh, kind of technology you can see here for the Node.js the most popular one uh, that people use the the framework they are using is uh, the Express.js and for Ruby this is a list of that and this just uh, people commenting uh, why they are using it and stuff 
So next one here is the um, the good and the bad of using Node.js web um, application development. So why is that people are using this? So you can see that this is a, a quick chart. Um, you can see how uh, popular it is starting from uh, 2007 up to 2011 until uh, 2018. So uh, this is the chart that uh, it gains its popularity and the pop uh, the benefits of using the Node.js. You can see that it's robust technology stack. I'm not going to go into detail in each of these sections. You can um, uh, read more if you prefer to. So uh, I highly recommend you to read all of this and uh, the net next benefit is the fast processing and also um event based model uh scalable technology for microservices and this just uh, comparing between uh, these two architectures so you can see that uh, developer using dockers with uh, node.js uh, this is for internet of things front end and the back end and uh, it reach echo system strong uh, corporate support uh, these are the drawbacks or the disadvantage of using um, node.js the performance uh, with a heavy compilation task uh, callback issue um, all of this and uh, for the job posting you can see that uh, node.js is one of the most popular one this is the result in 2016 our um, people start using this and it's dropped so uh, this is the comparison which is uh, similar to what we just saw on the previous website so uh, this is the comparison between these four node.js rails django and um, this technology so uh, this is the reasons um, they state when should you use rail over uh, node.js so uh, for rail it can compete with node performance and scalability however it's a better choice for fast development. Uh, it saves a lot of time in building a say an API and stuff. Uh, they have uh, to use like third party module to achieve the speed of the development. But Rails uh, as a language, no tool to this thing, the advantage and stuff. And this is the reason why you should use uh, Django over Node.js. So Django is the beginner, beginner friendly uh, tool other uh, than uh, language itself there's no reason to choose one over the other and uh, this is the other one and make note uh, dot signs so um here the other one so uh why would you actually use uh, node.js so this is the one of more popular article on medium you can see that there's uh, 8k for clubbing this article it is a JavaScript uh, uh, because JavaScript rising popularity are brought into a lot of changes and um, you can see why is that it's real-time website with push uh, capability and how does it work instead of platform it feel like a does need and this is the charts on how to show you how it works and uh, the technology is used to avoid the exception uh, up to surface and pressing the arrow back and uh, got like n uh, pm the node package manager and here some of the most uh, popular uh, useful npm uh, module today it's like express all of this um, mongodb and there's like a lot more like moment so uh, it can be used for like charting application uh, build an API also uh, all this query and proxy as well so um, you can have a look at this website for more detail and um, next one here is the tutorial on how to um, use node.js so you can see that node.js is an open source server environment and it allow you to run the uh, to run JavaScript on the server side and this is the code that uh, if you are using a node.js it looks something like this and next one here is also a um, tutorial on how to um, use node.js as well so uh, in here it explains you what REST is and why would we use it so 
uh, for the rest it can allow you to get say if you are trying to build an application that has a uh, user information uh, can be username or uh, that of birth password or uh, anything related to a user or maybe you build a website that has got like a any kind of um, information that you want to store or you want to delete or update or you try to uh, read all of those coming from the API or coming from the database then uh, this is uh, one of the option that you can use the node.js so this is the code that you can see is the user with the name password and professions uh, ID of that uh, particular user and um, it's a list of that it looks something like this for the code and also this uh, adding the user what it look like so uh, next one here is to show all the detail and is how you delete the message uh, delete the user and we will look into this uh, when I try or start building the application or building the API but now it's just like a theory part uh, before we getting into that so here is the best um, 10 Node.js frameworks for 2019 so here's a list of that you can see that um, uh, this is the number 10 the Adonis um, it looks something like this and it's theaters um, next one here is cells uh, loopbacks look something like that uh, this is uh, fastify restify the code example would, would look something like this and um, nest.js happy uh, core uh, also this is the first one uh, the express it's the king of the node.js framework as you can see it's the most popular one and it reached like in credit mark of 2 million daily download by the end of 2019 you can see that how popular it is um, it's an old framework however it's actively maintained by the community and it's, uh, the thing is that it's uh, open source and it's used by the big companies such as Uber uh, IBM stuff so um, here this is an example of using the uh, Express and we are going to look into how to actually use this among the 10 of that so I'll pick uh, using the Node.js to show you how we can actually build a uh, REST API so here is an article on how to create a secure REST API in Node.js and when try to quickly um, scream through this article you can see that it's post get put patch so this is uh, try to create or to replace the existing uh, resource and also this is the update or modify resource and we'll look into that and how to actually test it on uh, using postman before we get to apply it on our react application so next one um, uh, let me scroll down so this is how we actually uh, set it up uh, node.js and also uh, make sure that we install uh, mongodb and we can install it from here and this is the code that so this is how we create a user module with all of this field and next here are all of the sample code you can see um so this is how to create an auth module with the password uh, all of this crypto and create permissions eventually we will look into this in detail but for now i just want to show you uh, what it's actually uh, look like on how to create a rest api just uh, have an overview of that all right, so we almost there. We only have like four more articles to look quickly look into it. And again, these articles also mentions about all of the uh, the way to create the REST API using Node Express framework. And um, it's called for a REST API. Uh, we can use to um, this to actually test that out. Um, so here's the code that looks something like this: the API.get post put delete and uh, we can test that if we want to use a uh, postman or we 
just want to use the terminal we can just do something like this and we get uh, or maybe this is the post uh, receive this is the message that I received from this here and this is the re uh, express routes express uh, middleware I will um, put all of this link into the video description so you can come here and read all of these articles whichever you prefer to so next one here again with the building a simple REST API with Node.js uh, and Express and uh, this is also one of popular as well and um, you can just come and follow if you uh, think that this one is uh, suitable for you uh, before we getting into the real one on how to create that so here they are uh, one of uh, they are using the postman to actually test that out to see the result next one here is the node.js and express tutorial how to build and secure an API coming from this website the auth uh, 0.com They are also using the MongoDB as well. So here you can see that it's coming from MongoDB. Last one here is the, um, I think the most popular uh, article amongst the most popular one uh, in Medium. So this is like how we can actually build a full stack MongoDB, React, Node, and uh, Express framework um, from scratch. And you can see that 10.4K uh, for this article. So in this tutorial, um, the author just show us how to add, delete, or update the existing information that we uh, push to the back end and this is the step by step for the um, PC user this is how we do it for Mac user this is how we done it and back it up uh, just as that and uh, this is the uh, what looks something like this mongols this is all the code that we need all right so um, I think I have already um, quickly go through all of this article and um, that's pretty much it for this video and in next video we are going to build one uh, using all of this uh, kind of technology uh, node.js using express as well as mongodb so um, see you guys in the next video